Hey everyone, Caleb with the Antique Book Collective, and today I'm getting to you guys with a interesting video that you guys probably haven't thought about, and that is about time away, away on eBay. So what is time away on eBay? Just a quick thing on that. So time away on eBay is when you can say that you're basically on vacation on eBay, and it can either pause your sales or it can stop your sales for however long you are away. So some people do this for months on end, some people do it just for the weekends, that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to say might surprise you guys because it sounds like, oh, I deserve a vacation from every now, every now and then, like I work really hard. What about that? Why should I not do this? So I say you should not do eBay time away on a few occasions actually. So for me, I had actually just did a, a little over a week long time away thing. I, I already knew that there's issues with it, but I just didn't have the ability to not do time away because of everything going on in my, in my life. But I just did time away and I actually ran across an issue. So I actually had a few different listings uh, in my eBay store. So I have a lot of listings that are just like one item or like a set of books, which is just one thing. But when you have a quantity of items, so let's say you have five sets of the Lord of the Rings, just for example. So you can just make one listing for all five sets. And if you sell one or two sets, eBay actually like, I find that they ha you sort of like tickle them just the right way when you do something like that. And when you get a couple sales, eBay normally keeps on feeding you sales to that listing until that listing is sold out. And it's really nice because you can get sale back to back to back to back to back. And honestly guys, the trick is to actually get the first sale to some of those eBay listings, uh, to get the first sale, to get the juice going, to really get all the sales that you can get. Because once you get a couple sales, Sales, guys they just come at one after the other after the other after the other it's really nice it can make you guys so much money so to do that uh, this isn't what this video is about but it's a nice little sidebar but to do that to get your first sale on one of those larger quantity listings so for me I actually have some listings that have as many as like 20 or 30 items in them or not items but different quantities for them and w with those particular things what I did to get the first sale to start getting my more consistent sales on those things is I did promoted listings. I did some pretty severe promoted listings, like pretty high up on how much I'm willing to pay for those. Uh, you can also run a sale. You can send out offers like guys be willing to send out some pretty awesome offers to some people to just get those first couple sales in because when those first sales go in, those people are going to buy them. eBay's going to see that that thing's selling. They're going to recommend it to more people. And when that happens, those people are going to leave you reviews and they're going to leave, leave reviews on your li listing man I can't talk uh, and that all feeds back into a loop of getting you more and more sales which is really nice but that's not what this video is about this video is about why you should not do time away I know it, that's a weird thing it's like okay you have a you have a listing that's doing well and you have time away what do those have to do with each other and it actually has a lot to do with each other because this listing that's doing so well is getting you sale after sale after sale and eBay seeing that and they're giving more people to it but when you do time away boom that listing basically ceases to exist for a little bit of time if you do the time away that doesn't allow people to buy. For me, I did it so people could not buy while, during my time away because there was no way I could actually do it. I was way outside of town, way outside of any data range uh, for any cell data or anything like that. Like I was in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So I couldn't do my listings and I didn't have anyone uh, at home that could do it for me, which really stank, but it was something I had to do. And because of that, those listings stopped getting their sales, and when I came back and turned my store back on, basically, those listings were exactly as they were before I started getting all the sales. So it was, oh, I got a sale. Three days later, oh, I got a sale. As opposed to in one day getting like a dozen sales or something off of just one listing. So that is something that you guys definitely have to consider is, is my time away going to affect my business? So for me, with my all of, all of my other listings that are just like one or two items, uh, quantity, you know, where if I sell one, I sell one, whoop to do time away doesn't do much to that. But for those really high volume things that get the sale after the sale, that really eviscerates that side of my business. And that side of my business is the most exciting side if you really want to do a whole lot of trips to the post office because I mean you're getting sale after sale I mean the profit isn't as high on those but I'm getting the consistent sales whereas these other ones sales aren't nearly as consistent but the profits a whole lot better so depending on your business model this one that gets all the sales might not matter as much to you for me it didn't matter too much so I'm not too worried about it but now I have a whole lot of bum inventory basically because now I have to hold on to that inventory until I can get those sales coming back to the item which is annoying but it's something I'm willing to deal with because I'm okay with that. That's my business. I've been doing this for years, so I know the ebbs and flows of eBay. But with all that said and done, guys, if you guys have not done time away before uh, or anything like that, 
you might want to keep in mind, okay, who can I call? Who can I pay like $50 for the weekend to basically just run my eBay store for me because I don't want to do the time away because it might hurt this listing or this listing. Again, guys, that's not guaranteeing that it will hurt your listing, but it is something that I have found over the different times away that I've done over the year, uh, over the years, sorry. Uh, that is something that I have seen is when I do time away, it does definitely hurt those higher volume uh, sales that do the back to back to back to back to back ones because of the high quantity of those things. So I know this is a sort of high tier sort of thing that probably is going over a lot of you guys' heads and you guys just like time away, volume listing, what, what, what? Uh, I know that's going over some of your guys' heads, but for those of you guys that have been doing eBay for a while, that sort of stuff, you probably already know this tip, but if you are new and you wanna dive in on the deep end, this is something that does definitely help. So with all that said and done, guys, don't worry. I do have some uh, other videos that aren't as nearly of a deep dive onto some of these weird things, so be sure to subscribe as well, check out those videos, and I'll see you in the next one.